shaken or stirred with the release of the Bond movie, No Time to Die, finally coming out this weekend. It's only fitting to have Waters, Christopher Waters, join us. <laughs> Good morning, how are you? You're looking very Bond-like. I, I thought I needed to at the very least dress the part. After 18 months of leisure wear, I thought, <laughs> let's, make, let's, let's kind of be Bond-like and, and dust off the Brooks Brothers and suit up for you and... Daniel Craig and all of the viewers as well. Well, thanks for suiting up for us this morning. You're a well-known wine columnist, but you're a cocktail expert as well. So we're trying to create the perfect uh, cocktail, the, the 007 martini. What ingredients do we need? Well, here's the thing. I mean, I, I love this time of year. I love the Bond movie because A, it gives us an excuse to, to entertain, but uh, it's also probably the bartender's peril because when you think about martinis, you usually think about gin and if i were making a purist a cocktail i'd have this lovely isle of harris scotch uh, um a producer from scotland making a really great gin but let's talk about bond who breaks all the rules both on assignment but also the way he orders a drink and right so let's start with shaken not stirred well that's exactly it i mean a classic bartender rule would be well a martini should be gin it should be stirred it should be pure and it should be clear and it should be all of these things but bond didn't go that way maybe because he's on assignment and he needed it needed a quick injection of, of alcohol before his adrenaline rush who knows but he always wanted to have everything shaken very cold and so i've been chilling down this riedel uh, extreme martini glass to make sure that it's nice and frosted so bond right. would be approved of that I've but shaking got, is actually bad for the drink, right? It does. It kind of, they say it bruises the spirit, and it also dilutes the drink. But perhaps there's been some suggestion maybe Bond wanted it to do, be diluted so he had more wits about him when he was on the case, when he was, no matter what he was doing. <laughs> right. So yeah, with, with Blofeld, not <laughs> far away. Exactly. If they was matching him drink for drink, he was ingesting last alcohol. And so I, I thought... We'd introduce, if Bond were here, we'd introduce him to a product from Allison, this is BD's Potato Vodka, which I think is great for for martinis because it's just so smooth and it's got such great texture. And so my Bond Vodka martini would be two ounces of that and an ounce of vermouth into my lovely gunmetal shaker, which very nice. Q has gotten a hold of me when Q in this corner. <laughs> Crafty bartender, I thought Bond would approve of, you know, style counts for something, too. Just going to shake. Nice. Every well-stocked bar should have that from Q Branch. Well, exactly right. And so yeah. shake for 007 seconds, maybe maybe a little bit longer. But and Now, what defines, what defines a great vodka? Purity is really... It, well, it's actually it's a great question because vodka's always been about purity. It's about it's about refinement. But what I love about batch batch processing, like what BD's doing, and so many other, they're using potatoes, or if, you, if you're using grapes, if you're using that, people are starting to let the actual base ingredient shine through. And so it's just not just about pure and alcoholic or mellowness or that sort of thing. It's about having some flavor. And so I think a potato vodka like this is also really great for dirty martinis if you want to use some of the brine from that or if you just- Right, it, it, it that's so actually much. my favorite. You, oh, you do that? Yeah. It, yeah. it just adds another level of sophistication to the drink, adds something else. I use a lot of vermouth and I know that there's going to be people adding me at an emailing saying that's too much vermouth you should just basically wish the vermouth bottle past the glass and not have it touch <laughs> uh, but i actually like the botanicals especially in a vodka martini i like to have some of those flavors shine through and so i think that with a little bit of a lemon twist twist in there uh bond would like it bartenders would probably go what is that it's cloudy it's got shards of ice it's Perfect. there's no to this but now we're ready for no time to die, but we have no time left to talk. Thank oh, you so much for joining us. Waters, Christopher Waters.